In Suffolk County, the parents of a toddler who died were indicted today in the child's apparent fentanyl overdose. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports prosecutors say the child died in the home after coming in contact with deadly drugs left out in the open. Joseph Adonis was 14 months old. His father posted photos of his blessing. But tragedy struck on January 3rd. A 911 call from the Holbrook apartment said the toddler was unresponsive. He was later pronounced dead. Preliminary toxicology results for uh, the child's blood showed the presence of cocaine, fentanyl, morphine. Suffolk DA Ray Tierney says inside the bedroom with Joseph, deadly drugs on a chair, residue on a nightstand and in a drawer, also allegedly unsecured and within reach of him and an 11-year-old loaded guns and drug scales. Wilkins Adonis and Daryl Lee Leebrook are charged with drug possession and endangering the welfare of a child. Infinitesimally small amount of this poison could come in contact with a child and result in that child's death. Fentanyl is 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times stronger than morphine. And we see its deadly consequences over and over again. A crisis claiming on average more than one life every day in Suffolk County and striking children nationwide in alarming numbers. In 2021, 133 kids younger than five died from fentanyl. Last fall, a one-year-old died at a Bronx daycare center. Tierney took the message to Albany earlier this month that stricter laws are needed. Joseph's death is still under investigation. The child endangerment charges are misdemeanors. What does it say about a society? that cannot protect its children from the ravages of this opioid and drug crisis. The couple's next door neighbor. That's the most heartbreaking thing is that a baby died in all this. Liebrook pleaded not guilty. Her attorney called it a tragedy all around. She had a stay away order from Joseph. On social media recently, she announced she is again pregnant. Adonis's attorney tells me he maintains his innocence, that a lot of people came and went from that house and he was unaware of the drugs and guns inside. In Holbrook, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And Adonis and Leebrook are both being held on bail due to open warrants for failure to appear in court on previous drug charges.